Hey everyone, Will from All Electric back again with another video and today we're taking a look at the Romatlink Rhino. In this video, you're going to get my complete review after testing this e-bike out for several weeks. Let's jump right in. When you unbox the Romatlink Rhino, you're gonna see that you need to put on a front tire, just like most of the bikes that I do test on this channel. Also, you have fenders, although I leave off the front fender, that is because I use the Steady Rack system. If you're interested in purchasing the Steady Rack system off Amazon, I'll leave a link down below. Now, this integrated rear rack says it's able to support up to 400 pounds, which is pretty awesome, and I do like the style of the rear rack. This is a beast of a bike and it is super rugged, powerful, and designed for ultimate outdoor adventures. In this video, we're gonna take a closer look at the specs, features, and of course, we'll put it to the test. So let's get rolling. Now let's talk about some specs. The Romatlink Rhino packs a serious punch, and that means a 750 watt hub motor peaking at a whopping 1200 watts. That means you can tackle all kinds of trails from city streets to rough terrains. The 48 volt, 20 amp hour battery powered by Samsung provides ample energy to keep you going. And with the 48 volt, three amp charger, you can juice up from zero in about six to seven hours. Controlling this beast is a breeze with a five inch color LCD display. It's intuitive and provides essential info you need while riding. Plus the half twist throttle on the right hand side gives you instant power when you need it most. There's also a headlight button and a horn on your left-hand side. Really nice to have that. Now let's talk about speed and range. The Romatlink Rhino can reach speeds up to 28 miles per hour, earning its class three classification. With the throttle alone, you can go up steep hills with a 20 degree grade. And with the pedal assist, you can conquer even steeper inclines at 30 degrees. Speaking of range, this e-bike impresses. With the throttle alone, you can expect to cover up to 60 miles on a single charge. But if you're in a pedal assist level mode, that range extends to a remarkable 80 miles. That's perfect for those long rides through scenic trails. Or if you wanna pack this down and make this like a bikepacking e-bike, this is fully capable of that. Now I think they're able to get these impressive mile statistics because they chose a high quality battery from Samsung. Now, if you do plan on riding this on some city streets, don't worry about safety either. The Romatlink Rhino comes with an integrated taillight for enhanced visibility, even during your nighttime adventures. It also has a front headlight that is integrated and simple controls right on the handlebars. Plus, it's IPX65 water resistant, so a little rain won't stop you. With the front suspension and these fat tires, you get plenty of cushion on or off-road. I tested this on some light gravel trails and it performed really well. Now let's talk about price. Right now on their website, it comes in at $1,299. It has a $1,800 regular price tag, but right now it's about $500 off that. And I think for 1300 bucks, I would definitely purchase this e-bike if you're looking for something that is very beefy, very big. There are still some pros and cons with this e-bike, but if you're looking for an e-bike to commute to work or to use on some trails out in the wilderness, this might be the one for you. If you're looking for an e-bike that you can easily put in the back of your car or lift up, this is probably not the e-bike you're looking for because this thing is heavy. Now, although the bike load listed on their website is 400 pounds, the bike weight is 82 pounds. So a rather heavy bike, but you do get a lot for that weight, including that rear rack where you can hold a ton of stuff and also these big fat tires. This is a full size e-bike. I'm about six foot one and I was super comfortable riding this thing. One of my only complaints about this e-bike was the handlebars. I wish there was more adjustment upward. I felt that because of my height, the handlebars were a bit lower than I wanted them to be but there was no adjustment that I could make. I would have to buy something extra to raise the handlebars up. Okay, that is my full review of this Romatlink Rhino. 
If you want to pick up one of these, click the link right below the like button. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Thanks so much for watching. Share this video with a friend and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. As always, I will catch you guys in the next one. See ya. Pierce my heart straight through. I got issues in my head. I like you in my bed, but you keep me on red. Oh, everything is like a test. I better not text or I'll come off desperate. But if I lay down and I play dead and I stay dead, baby, you'll get.